quite simply, just congratulations to Alabama. Um, thought they played a, an outstanding game. Um, thought the difference in the game was um, third down offense. I thought their quarterback made some plays, um, keeping plays alive outside the pocket that, that uh, extended drives that allowed our that kept our offense off the field. Offensively, we had a hard time getting rhythm because of that. And then I just thought that their front um, is as advertised, uh, gave us a lot of trouble uh, getting going. I'm proud for the way the guys competed in the second half. Um, like with all films, the f there will be plenty of uh, things to correct, but also plenty of things that I think that uh, that will be positives that we can take going on to week two. And with that, I'll open up for questions. If you could uh, raise your hand and then wait for the, the microphone to come to you. Susan Miller over here. Hey, Manny. Um, how is Derek King? I know we're going to talk to him, but what was your impression of you know, him, him today playing for the first time and he got hit hard a few times? How's he doing? Which I think, you know, I mean, that's just, it's football and, um, you know, he's a competitor. So he's, you know, you know, he, he's hurt because he's, you know, he, he came here to win the game. Um, but I thought he was brave. Um, you know, I thought he was sharp. I thought he made some excellent throws. Um, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll go on to next week. And Manny, the, the follow-up is how, how are the players doing? Like, what did you tell them and how, how are they emotionally right now? They're disappointed, you know. I mean, I mean, they, they came here to compete. Um, they, um, you know, I mean, that they they worked really hard for today. Uh, they're still. I think that's where you have to, you know, when you go into film session tomorrow, you 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 remove the result from from the film, you know, and look at exactly what you know individual performances and and what got us to to that final result. Um, but uh, but we've got a close knit group uh, who has a lot of respect for for the team coming into uh, next week to our stadium in App State, and uh, we'll get back to work tomorrow. Go to Tom D'Angelo in the second row. Hey Manny, Manny, you talked about <clears throat> and all week was talked about learning lessons from games last week last year, like well specifically Clemson, number one team, but it really you know by midway of the second quarter, it was basically a rout at that point. Were you disappointed in the start and in, in, in how this was kind of similar to that game? I, yeah, I, I didn't feel it was um, for a couple of different reasons. To be honest, trying to explain why I didn't feel it was is, is not worth trying to explain why it wasn't. Um, like I said, I, I saw guys, and you know, I'll speak for when they had the football, which they had the majority of the first half. Um, they were just making more plays than us on third down. Uh, I didn't see a lack of competitiveness. I didn't see a lack of toughness, bite. Um, I saw football things happening in a football game that allowed them to maintain possession. Um, so, you know, I, I just, it just, it, it, does, it doesn't matter because the result, as you say, is the same. So, you know, read into it what you want. But um, there will, I think there will be some things under the rubble of the loss when we look at the film tomorrow that uh, will give us encouragement going forward. We're here to front row football bill. How you doing, Manny? I'm deep from football bill. Uh, going into this game, did you expect them to put the ball in Bryce Young's hand as much as they did? No, we thought they would run the ball a lot more. Um, but even with what how it ended up, you know, shaking down, like we still got him. What we thought were favorable third down situations. I, we just the unknown was how he would react when a play broke down. And there was different evidence, evidence as to suggest as, you know, he, he does have a strong arm and a lot of confidence in that. But um, we did think that there was a chance for him to put the ball in harm's way. You know, in the, the first drive of the game, I think it was first or second, they had the, you know, we knocked the ball out and, you know, he scrambled and threw a ball to us in the end zone that we had a chance to pick. Um, we knew that turnovers would be a big deal, you know, in trying to pressure him and turn the ball over. Uh, they have a lot of confidence in him. And obviously he, he's earned it, you know. I mean, I mean, the way he played tonight for a young guy, um, was was very impressive because we tried to make it hard and changing looks and, and getting him on the run and his receivers did a nice job of working back down the stem against our coverages and um, and like I said any one of those third down stops um, changes things dramatically. Front row here, Brandon Ladoy, a football high bay coach. You talked about things to take away positives. It's got to be the freshman play. I mean, it didn't seem too big for Andres. It didn't seem too big for James or even Cam. What do you take away from that? And maybe there are others that I omitted that played in other spots. What do you take away from that in, in recruiting and, and, and how do you kind of move forward from the positives they had? Yeah, it's, it's what we've seen in practice. You know, I, you know I've, I've said before about what we feel about this recruiting class and, and really the last two recruiting classes, which, you know, sort of make up the majority of our team. And, um, 
you know, I, if we continue to stack classes like that, I think it's be really positive going forward. It's great, but to see a guy on a stage like that come in and you know just feel you know at, in as if he belonged, I guess is a way to say it. You know, um, was was extremely encouraging because you know obviously we're thin in the secondary and we knew we were going to have to have those guys play for us um, this year. So um, and Andre, so it was great to you know get that situation where he had to make a kick, you know, right there before halftime and they made one in the second half and, and just, you know, that's going to give him a lot of confidence that he's done it. So, um, you know, excited for, for um, those guys getting a chance to make plays on, on in their debut. David Wilson over here. Hey, Manny, uh, I want to ask you about that sequence. I, at the start of the second half, you guys go down the field, get stuffed at the goal line, um, and then give up a 94-yard touchdown. Just that the touchdown, I guess, what did you see on that play? And then just that sequence, how, how kind of crushing was that? Obviously a chance to, to really get back in the game there. That, yeah, that, I, again, you know, that, that's why I mentioned earlier. I mean, obviously there was already some separation on the scoreboard, but but that was a hammer blow. I think it kind of got us off of our rocker for for a little bit. I thought we finished the fourth quarter well, but it just – there's a couple of bizarre things. You know, you get the ball down to the one-yard line. We're trying to go fast. We're, just, we're trying to just wedge it in there. And – the pacing of the of, of setting the ball, you know, and, and it slows us down. I mean, that's the whole the whole point is to try to catch them, you know, not ready, get in there and, and, and jam it in. And there's a couple of things that happen that you know that that, that just that slow us down, um, you know, and, and they, they they make a great push and stop us. And then I've, I've got to see a I've got to see a good replay, I guess. But the the quarterback, I suppose, was outside the pocket. You know, I mean, that's that, that's a you know that that's a tough one. The touchdown itself was was a it was an outstanding play. They they we were in man man coverage with outside leverage, and they they fake crossers, put a foot in the ground, and came back across the field. Um, that takes a lot of great protection, uh, and then they threw it to a guy that was just you know there's you know the, the, a great addition to their team. Uh, that obviously his speed is is legit. That guy can run, and and uh, if it was 94 yards or wherever the ball was, we were gonna have a hard time catching him. So it was good execution against man coverage and a down that we you know we were gonna play man to try and get off the field on third and four, three, whatever whatever it was. And so And then just one quick uh it might be better for Rhett tomorrow, but with Derek obviously, you know, first live action, was there any I don't, I don't want to say like conservative, but did you kind of feel you guys were protecting him a little bit and more comfortable as the game went on? Because I don't think he ran until the second quarter. And no, because some of those runs are the, the there could be runs that are just give reads instead of pull reads. So I don't think Derek would have put up with the game plan that protected him in any way. The second round, Kobe. Thank you. Manny, I came in a little late, so I'm sorry if this is a repeat question, but do you have any update on Mike Harley? I, I do not. I haven't heard anything. I don't even know what you guys have heard, but I haven't heard anything since uh, he was removed from the game. Any other questions for Coach Diaz? One more from Tom. Again, no, no, the answers. But was there any any thought at all of De'er taking De'Eric out as a score got bigger, and after he, you know, appeared to limp off the field that, that when he got sacked, and got, went in the medical tent. Any point after that, before he came out, was there any thought about, you know, we, we need to give him, a, you know, save him? <laughs> we were just, yeah, we, we wanted to do on the drive that that ultimately ended up with the interception. We we wanted to just finish with one more good drive on offense. You know, we we did feel like we you know we had moved the ball. We got all the way down to the one and didn't score. We got all the way down to the five, and had to settle for three. I mean, we we had had some drives. We want we want to put one more good drive on tape. Um, you know, because I, I do feel like you know some of our guys had settled down. We're 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 blocking them up a little bit better in the second half. And but obviously, I think that's the drive to start with the interception. I think that's how we ended his day from there. We'll do one more with Susan, and then that'll be it. Manny, is there any concern that that uh, the players won't be able to recover quickly from this game, you know, and and move on to the rest of the season, which is really now more important? Recover physically, or you mean, or mentally, no, or no, emotionally no, or mentally? I, I, I don't think so. I, it, this, this is not a, you know, I mean, college ball is famous for overreactions after week one, but that's not what this team's all about. Um, you, you just don't get your you you don't get your story written after one game into the season. We're just we're just not there yet. And, and the guys in the locker room, if if anything, what happened today will 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 bring them even closer together. Uh, like I said, we, we've got you know we've got a, a stretch of games coming at home. It's a big deal for us to get in front of our fans, uh, who I, our fans I thought were great tonight to have them out there. But you know, Derek King's never played in Hard Rock Stadium really with our fans in it. You know, and 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 we got to have a great atmosphere next Saturday night. Um, 
No, this this team's story is is not even close to being written yet, and and we got a lot of guys in there that have a lot of pride to make sure it goes the way they want it to.